Hello. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome to everyone who is new to our channel. It's yes. Nice. So nice to see you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, you are most welcome to do so. So you don't miss our videos. We speak mostly about Twin Flames on this channel. Uh, there's other spiritual topics in the past. You can browse if you're interested as well. And today we're gonna speak about our upcoming workshop. Workshop, yes. We're gonna go very deep and personal about. We say personal because we will also answer questions mm -hmm. one on one um, about uh, manifesting your twin flame, technically. Your twin flame journey. Yes, your twin flame journey, and uh, it's it also has to do with the law of attraction, but. Not necessarily, it's uh, even better. Uh, actually, uh, we will uh, speak very much in depth on manifestation and law of attraction um, and where most of the people are making mistakes. Uh, we will reveal unique things also over there that uh, um, no one ever discussed in such a way we discussed only with the two of us <laughs> yes so this workshop will be uh, all about it now uh generally we say when it comes to your twin flame uh, we should not use any kind of manifestation right uh and i understand that this uh it is very correct in a way however <laughs> there's always a but right um, however, there's something much deeper than this and uh, we are actually experiencing this every single day of our lives. We are sending manifestation messages to the universe all the time through our thoughts, through our words. Um, it happens subconsciously. We don't even focus on this, but that's what we are doing. When we say, I want something, um, we are already sending an order. Even when we curse uh, the twin flame, we are also sending an order <laughs> because it's all yes. about what you want and what you don't want. Usually it's the same as wanting, unfortunately. And many people who are more on the negative, or are more depressed whatever you're thinking it's being created exactly and now with the changes of energy the more we are entering in the aquarius energies things are becoming faster because aquarius is very fast young energy uh, which means that the thought process is reflected almost immediately in the universe in this online shop where we make our orders in how we actually attract things towards us we constantly attract stuff um whether it's good or bad doesn't matter but anything that happens to us to us uh, on a daily basis is something that we have manifested and we are all experiencing it uh, the manifestation process is becoming more and more important especially uh now uh entering uh, these energies and uh, the deeper we dive in them, uh, this will become uh, the number one thing in our lives. And technically, we all have to go up to date. Just like with the new technologies. We need to be up to date with the new technologies because nowadays, technology is everywhere. And if we are not up to date with technology, we will be behind and will not be able to navigate properly in in the world. Yes, and uh, there's a very big difference from Pisces and, and Aquarius because uh, Pisces is young and it's connected to more like to the sky, to the thoughts, to the brain. And Pisces is yin. No, I said Pisces. Yes. I meant Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> No, because uh, there's a big difference between Pisces and Aquarius. Yes. And Aquarius is uh, the the young, so it's so so connected to to the atmosphere, to the sky. That's why every person who is air element um, 
they are more like uh, they lose themselves right so we really need to not lose ourselves into our manifestation do not let it go in vain there's even um because i was uh, uh, i was a christian before and uh, there's actually a very important part into what we put um, towards god and uh, which is the same thing manifesting and praying is the same uh, and we were very careful what we would pray towards um, mm -hmm. and uh, for example if uh, we're having a, a bad day and uh, we call the name of God in vain because that's one of the commandments apparently um, this uh, will result in also a manifestation so that's mm -hmm. why those like don't do not manifest something you don't want in your life it's actually very difficult to actually open your mouth and be careful all the time it's uh, it's quite something it is it's very difficult and at the same time manifestation is actually a very easy thing to do uh or more like how to navigate through the law of attraction in my opinion there's a difference between law of attraction and manifestation and we're a little bit spamming on the word manifestation but just for the sake of you know being understood better we will also go with manifestation yeah because the law of attraction is just a rule as manifestation you, you can go beyond the rules mm -hmm. it's a totally different thing mm -hmm. uh, i truly believe that manifesting is actually creating something new yep uh out of existing resources of course um energetically as um law of attraction is already uh, attracting already existing uh, things and pretty much anything that we desire uh, in this world or most of the things they already do exist uh, we just uh, have to um, you know be more co conscious conscious <laughs> sorry conscious, yeah. uh, to be more conscious of what exactly we are manifesting how we are uh, dealing with this process yes we are also gonna say in the workshop um, how to really uh, prioritize what manifestation goes first because no matter what they're all there they are all queued up in the in the place where they get fulfilled <laughs> all these manifestations maybe it's the higher self who processes the, uh, the orders mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna tell you uh, uh, not like in specifically but we will tell you a, an easier way to prioritize your manifestation to make sure it gets fulfilled first and not the other ones as a matter of fact uh, uh, if we are not uh, dipping the best way into uh, these waters because they're very deep mm -hmm. uh, it can lead to anxiousness depression and many other things and we are starting to, to blame ourselves like what am i doing wrong that uh, things are not coming the way yes, I, a lot. yeah the way i desire like uh, am i the you know many people uh, think to themselves am i the worst person here like that the only bad things happen to me mm -hmm. uh in thoughts like this you know um all this uh affects um our lives what we are attracting to ourselves uh and there is better way ways to do it indeed um and actually um here we are not you know learning to uh make our lives more mental no uh, we are actually um, learning how to uh, deal with the more mental energies and to become them more friendly towards us just like we have videos on how to uh, you know balance your body we also have this is one of the videos to balance the mind so there's all kinds exactly we just need to know how to use this and uh, technically by learning how to navigate into uh, the manifestation energies uh, which affects to a huge extent the twin flame journey uh, we are improving ourselves we are evolving uh, we are going on a, a higher level of frequency and life is all about learning we have to keep on learning 
all the time to justify the purpose of our coming to earth of our existence here and also the goal of the twin flames right yes i just wanted to make a small adjustment there about the we are here actually to remember yes yeah. uh, we already learned everything yeah there's nothing to learn new but we are here to remember who we really are and this is like a, a it sounds like a very old thing to say and the new generation doesn't care but it always comes down to the same thing mm -hmm. if you're into fixing yourself and finding your twin flame and all this stuff uh, balance and stuff you are you are gonna find out that this is the the most uh, uh, the most accurate motto you can find uh, to uh, to remember who you really are that's what it is exactly and the uh, twin flame in order to really uh, have her next to you or him next to you they next to you um, if the twin flame is really here on earth then uh, the manifestation is the way to go if uh, everything else is in check of course we're not gonna use just the mind and forget the body you know because you are already using it whether yes. you know it or not you are we all are uh, and it's just like learning how to ride a bicycle or to drive a car ah in order to manifest properly uh, if the body is not okay you cannot manifest the way you want things to be and that's why we wrote an ebook about uh, this um, it focuses on, on twin flames but it also focuses on how to really uh, use this temple that we have these are these are all gifts the, it's a the temple, connection the mind and uh, we wrote an ebook it's called twin flame model remake and we are also planning to make another one for uh, more up here <laughs> and this ebook is actually a unique connection between uh, nutrition and twin flames as crazy as it sounds yes it's very much connected yeah it's super important um and yeah the link for you to sign up to the, the workshop is on the description we are trying to make it always affordable for everybody uh not to skyrocket the prices i want to try to <laughs> leave it somewhere up here to be easier yeah and um, if you're interested, you're welcome. Yes, yeah, it's going to be on the 24th of September. So that's and 10 days from now at uh, 1 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So you want to check what is your local time for this. We are trying to make it in a time which is convenient pretty much for uh, most of the people from all over yeah. the world to join. In the US till the morning. And in Australia it will be afternoon and India as well so yeah <laughs> we would love to see you there thank you very much for everything for see your you presence guys. see you Ciao.